Let's begin with a maximum assist transfer. Here we have Fran, who had her stroke less than two weeks ago. She needs to get in and out of bed for her daily therapy and for her meals. Not only do I want her to be safe, but I also want her to relearn normal movement in order to eventually become as functional as possible. I begin with a low bottom transfer to the weak side. The following guidelines may need to be modified depending on the height of the patient, the heights of the surfaces, if medical conditions interfere, or if the patient has already developed any tightness or contractures. Okay, let's lock your brake. Good. Stand in front of the patient. Place both feet flat on the floor. Make sure your feet are on the ground. Can you put your heels on the ground? There you go. Good. With your knees together, position yourself in front of the patient's involved leg. Your feet should be staggered, one in front, one in back. This way you'll be able to shift your weight from your front foot to your back foot as the patient shifts her weight from her hips to her feet. Your foot and back should be toward the bed. When I put my knees together, there's a V space between my knees. Your knees will be positioned on each side of your patient's patella at the condyles. This correct position is extremely important and plays a key role. Your point of contact should not be on the patella or up along the femur. These are very common mistakes and should be avoided. All right, and you're gonna lean forward. Forward is the important thing to remember here. Help the patient to bend down and forward over the strong side as far as possible. As you do this, support the upper trunk so that she doesn't feel like she's falling forward. Reach over the patient's back and place your hands securely under the trochanters of the hips or as far as you can reach. Do not grab onto their belt loops or the waistband of their pants. This can be dangerous as well as uncomfortable for the patient. Hug the patient next to you, helping them to feel more safe and secure. Before you move the patient, flatten your back. If done correctly, this should not put a strain on your back whatsoever. Do not lift the patient. Instead, rock their weight from their hips to their feet. At the same time, rock your weight onto your back foot, keeping your back flat. This is done using leverage, not lifting. Approximate the knees by giving input with your legs into their condyles, just on each side of their patella. The force of your input should help the patient bring their hips up and off the surface of the chair. The larger the patient, the more approximation you will need to give. As their hips clear, pivot the patient to the bed. Don't pivot your patient until their hips have cleared the chair. Lower the patient onto the bed. If your patient has difficulty leaning so far forward, you can change your hand position to modify the transfer. Here you can see that I've transferred Fran to the weak side with some modifications. My job is only to get her hips off the chair, nothing else, okay? Mm -hmm. Your job is to swing her hips around onto the couch. Okay. So neither one of us lift, and it's not a struggle for either of us. So my job is strictly to get her weight transferred from her hips to her feet. Your job is gonna be to swing her hips around. What do I have to do? You don't have to do anything. <laughs> You're Good. just going to go for a ride here, okay? Right. If you want, you could put your hands together or you can just come forward like this. And I'm going to just not stand you up, but just shift you forward. Okay, and you take your hands on her hips, Lee. Uh-huh. That's it. And turn. That's it. That's exactly it. And isn't oh, that, that easy? so easy. Can you believe how easy that is? I'm, now, not, I'm not doing it alone anymore. Let me help you straighten up here. OK. 
Okay. Just lean forward. That's it. Perfect. <sighs> As your patient improves and can begin to help you, your facilitation will change. Now we'll watch Lauren transfer with moderate assistance. Stand in front of your patient with their weak side toward the bed. Place their feet flat on the floor. Your feet should be staggered, one in front and one in back. The back foot should be toward the bed or the side you're transferring to. Ask the patient to place their hands either on their thigh or ask the patient to clasp their hands together. This time, help the patient to lean forward with trunk extension, not down. And just hang there for Reach a over the patient's back and place your hands and securely along the scapula and onto the rib cage. I'm going to go like that. Okay. Rock their weight forward from their hips onto their feet. At the same time, rock your weight onto your back foot. Don't stand them up. Remember to bring them forward. Cue their hips to pivot toward their weak side with this facilitation. My hands placed on their upper trunk can actually facilitate the direction of the pelvis. As you pivot your patient, make sure you pivot your feet as well to keep your back in alignment. This will help to protect it. Lower the patient onto the bed, keeping them forward. Now I'll help you move over to the side here. Here I am helping Dale to transfer from the mat table to the wheelchair with moderate assistance. Yeah. Dale is big. Yeah, exactly. The bigger the patient, the stronger my grasp will be, and the further forward they need to come to unweight their hips. And over. Perfect. That was great. Don't stand so close to your patient that you block their ability to come forward. Give them plenty of room. Also, remember to help them forward by using your legs, not pulling them forward using your biceps. This will take all of the stress off of your back. Great. Now I'll help you move over. Also, slow down the transfer and teach the patient better controlled movements Break it into three parts. Instead of saying one, two, three, transfer, try saying come forward, pause for half a second, turn, pause for half a second, and sit down. It will be safer and the patient learns to move when the weight shift is correct instead of on the count of three. Come forward just a little bit. Okay, we'll come forward, turn, and sit down. Great. And we're going to bring that hip. There we go. Now, are your feet on the ground? Mm -hmm. Here I am transferring Johnny to her weak side using moderate assistance. I have modified the transfer because Johnny is fearful and she has a history of shoulder pain. What we're gonna do is just leave she feels more down. secure this way. I still shift her weight forward and pivot her hips to the bed. I keep my back straight, but I'm also careful never to allow a patient to grab onto my neck. Nice. Mm -hmm. And we're going to scoot you back on the bed a little bit. Lean forward. Perfect. How's that? Okay. Okay. There may be other reasons to modify your transfers. Here we have Daryl who has Parkinson's as well as a right hemiplegia from a stroke. He lives at home with his wife Mary and they've been married for over 50 okay, years. Stand up. He does a stand pivot transfer using a pole. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to help you with your pants a little bit. And we'll do a quarter turn this way. Bring your foot 
That's it. Mm -hmm. And a little bit more of a turn. There you go. Okay, now you're going to have to reach back for that chair. This equipment helps Daryl to be both safe and functional transferring in and out of the bed.